There's one. Let's go! Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back. Like I said in the last video, today is gonna to be a little behind the scenes. We're gonna be filming today with Jameson Redding, fishing brand manager for Jackson Kayaks and also Jeff Little, Torquedo sales manager. So just got down here. They're gonna be here in just a few minutes. Gonna get the kayak set up. Just gonna be a behind the scenes filming for Jameson's show the road trip angler so it's gonna be fun gonna be fishing with them today take them out on the columbia river but yeah i'm not gonna be filming too much a lot of it's gonna go to his channel so i'm just gonna show you guys a little behind the scenes look of what it's like to do one of these with them it's a super cool opportunity i'm very humbled to be a part of it so let's get the kayak ready and once i get here i'll introduce them to you So yesterday we were out on a, a river up in uh, Northwest Washington and ran a little bit of white water. Um, they were in, in the NRS raft, um, the, the slipstream. I was in this and I noticed at some point right in here, and you can see I've got a little bit of aqua seal there. I was getting little bubbles in fish fin puncture is one of the things that happens when you have an inflatable kayak. It's not the end of the world. Uh, I actually carry a, it's a K-Pump Mini. I will tell you that fish fin puncture probably would have taken four or five days to get soft enough that I'd have really noticed any any difference in this 20 PSI center chamber. Think of it in terms of like mountain biking. If you're mountain biking, you're out on some single track in the middle of nowhere, you got a patch kit, maybe a spare in a tube and you have a little pump. Same thing with the inflatable kayaks. You carry the pump. This is a, a K-Pump Mini. Uh, and then I have a patch kit and I was able to to patch it. I won't even pull it out, but I had uh, this is a little tab of stuff called uh, Terry type B. I slapped it on there till I got off the water that stopped the, the little bubbles, pulled that off. And that's trash now deflated it, put some aqua seal on it like, I don't know, it, it hadn't even been 24 hours, but I'm pumping it back up. I'll be good to go today. It was good enough to get through that trip, you know, with the, the the Terry Type B patch, and now it's good as new. It's never hooks, it's never hitting rocks. I've hit rebar with this at full speed with the Torquedo. This gets up to about 6.8 mile an hour. Um, it's fish fins. There is your tips from B Jeff Little. You get a V? <laughs> B Jeff. Uh, I get a V. <laughs> head to some backwaters. Here there's some backwater where they typically spawn in. We'll go check that out first. Okay. See if we can catch the fish pre-spawn, spawning, post-spawn. It's gonna be a mix of three. I think you're gonna have mostly spawn and post-spawn, but there is a chance that there's some pre-spawners which we'll check out on the main river after. Okay. Tomorrow should be a little calmer. Tomorrow we'll probably run across and fish some good stuff over there. Yeah so what we do a lot of or at least what I do we definitely do but on like shoals, white watery kind of areas. This is totally like different rivers. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean it's probably it's 
somewhere in between, like what people do lake fishing and you know, fishing the rock piles. Yeah, a lot of, it's a lot of like St. Lawrence type. I mean, St. Lawrence is a much larger scale. What's your like, what are you looking for as a, I don't want to say trophy, but like, you know, you're like, that was a really good fish. Like for us, you know, we look for that 20 inch board. Is that pretty much what it is here? It's 18. Yeah, I mean, it's not uncommon to catch like, like as far as the weight perspective, 20 pounds. Spring, like spawning time yeah, so and four and a half to five. And then obviously post spawn, you know, drop down to like 15 pound bags. So, you know, your 18 and 19 is small enough, not a problem. There's been sixes and sevens caught out of here. They'll typically spawn all throughout this bank and all that. It's all hard bottom. What's the depth right here? It's about almost 10 feet. I was kind of half listening too, so let me know where I need to be so I'm not in here. You get there or you can like go on the outside. Right. I think we're going to probably fish kind of this bank. Okay. You want in or the other side? Either or. Oh, man, <laughs> oh. What happened? Well, I thought I was bumping rocks and then it was freaking rock crack. Got him. They want to trap. They're playing on the bottom just to see where the edge was. I kind of figured out the depth with the lure. Then I was like, I can get away with burning at this time. You know? Yeah. You never guess what they ate. That is so cool, man, to come to a spot I've never been before. Ever. Literally within what five casts? Oh, oh, oh they're down there. Caught me off guard. They're down there. Look at this. My first spot I've ever been in. Yeah, that's I love them just as much as the ones in the other states. There we go. <laughs> oh, he popped off. <laughs> right up against the bank, huh? Yeah. There's one little guy. Little drop shot. Pick up the drop shot. Got him. Little guy. There's one, too. Quick shots. Can I get a little better? Yeah. Got a couple on a drop shot over here. I got a little two pounder. I don't know if he has one in the shots or anything. Yeah, it's on this side. It's in the net. Doesn't matter. Pick up the old drop shot. But we got one. Z-Man trick shots, green pumpkin goby. 
top of the mound. Spawned out, but would have been a pretty good fish if it was pre-spawn. Good old drop shot. Not as, not as big as what we're looking for, but a good fish nonetheless. I mean, just beautiful colors on these small mouth. Can't beat it. Oh, yeah. Nice, man. I'll get a GoPro release on it, too. that on what you think is going to go on today. Like you heard that Jameson got one on but it's been struggling since then. Yeah. So I pretty much just caught that fish on his E-Man trick shot. Green Punk and Gobi. A little bit longer leader because we're fishing grass. Really in here what we're targeting is these spawning fish. Uh, there's still some females in here but probably a lot of bucks on beds. Checking out in here just getting out of the wind and I think after that we're going to go out to the main river and fight the wind a little bit, try to target some bigger pro spawn fish and also some pre-spawn. We're gonna have fish in all three stages, like I said this morning, so we'll see what happens. Sweet, man. Nice work. Yeah, I mean, the smallmouth here, dude, they're like instant. Like I saw a dark spot up there. I missed it by like three feet and it still got bit. Yeah, it should be good. I mean, we'll give it a little bit in here and see. And then I was, I was hoping that there's still going to be some big females in here, but I think it's a little warm and they pushed out. Yeah, I get it. It's just like it's not the middle. Like, I think it's just... I watched, her, I watched her swim right up to it. <laughs> There's one. That feels a little better. Maybe. Stuck in some grass, feels like. Yeah, it'd be a good one. A little better head shakes. Yeah, that's gonna be a good one. Yeah, it's not even deep up there too. We're only at three feet. Good head shakes. Too proud to ask for the Like instant, as soon as it hits the bottom. Good fish, yeah, three pounder. Really good. Maybe a little bigger than three. Would have been four if it was pre-spawn. Would have been a four pounder if it was pre-spawn. And that's why you come to the Columbia River. Ooh, okay. Look how pretty that is. Well, Z-Man trick shots again. Sick. Spawned out, but I mean the frame on that fish is it's nice. Maybe it was a good decision to come in here. <laughs> I'm thinking. I think they're just showing up towards the shade and still around their heads. I mean, just great small mouth. Good frame on it. Not super long by any means, but I mean, got a lot of coloration on it. Oh, so she was pre Nice one. Good work, man. Sideways or vertical? Uh, sideways like that. Oh. Yeah. Want to get a GoPro reason? I might too? get a. Just a yeah. Thank you, girl. There she goes. Columbia River smallmouth. I love it. There's a lot more like that around here. Let me come over to the camera. You just give me a how the filming is going. Looks like Jameson's catching one over there. How is uh, how has it been on this corner? You guys are fishing this 
little calm pocket here. Yeah, this corner is kind of more of the, just a big spawning area. Uh, caught, I caught one a little over probably 19 inches. Nice. Jameson caught one probably over 18. Um, surprisingly, there's still females back here. So that was with this cold weather getting pushed back so far. It's uh, it's kind of a good thing we came back here. A little, out, a little bit out of the wind and there's still some good fish in here. So what'd you get yours on? I uh, got mine on a drop shot. Okay. So as it's all tangled up, you can see man trick shots, green pumpkin goby. Nice. Seeing some dark spots up there, which I assume are beds. And I mean, even if you cast five feet from them, it seems like they still want to eat it. So nice. Uh, through the movies. any scent in the ribs on that thing? Nope, didn't need any scent. Maybe if we get on the main river, but back here, I mean, for them, it's just seeing something that's different, so. Nice. I got a couple more on a fluke. It's called streaks. Long but skinny. Yeah, those spawners. Ready to maybe come up beside Jameson for a sec. Guess we're talking about some successes so far. I would say that you know what you're talking about. It's my first time fishing with you, but you let us <laughs> right to them, man. That's awesome. I kind of had a feeling. I mean, this time of the year, usually these bigger post spawners are not in here because it gets so warm, but how late the spawn was uh, we just had a good opportunity to get back here and get out of the wind I'm not quite sure what the wind is like on the main river but we'll definitely get out there and you know see if we can find something to occur and maybe school up yeah that'd be awesome I'm, I'm getting a lot of bites that are reactionary but i don't think they're feeding i think they're just trying to protect their area their bed whatever so the fish i just caught i was throwing kind of a bluegill pattern swim bait and i felt it thumping but I think they're just kind of, you know, get out of here. Yeah. You drop something that stays in their zone, like you're throwing that drop shot. And I'm, I threw that Seco in there, and they pick it up. Yeah. And that's not moving, and they're not having, they're trying to, like, literally get it out of here. That's one of the best parts about being in here this time of the year is that you always get a second or even a third chance. Like, I had one earlier try to eat the streaks, and it took three times, but I finally got it to go just with that little grass and just imitating the bait fish. So yeah. it's, I mean, there's endless opportunities back here. And uh, it's nice because we're not even on the main river right now. The yeah, we're river getting is... protection from the wind and current. I, I kind of am enjoying that, but I'm kind of with you. Like eventually I'm going to like to see some bigger ones even, which we've caught some nice fish though. So. What are you, uh, you're catching fish? But... I mean, yeah, we could keep going down the bank. If we want to hit this island first, usually there's some around it. And then we can go out to the main river and see how it's looking out there. Over here, yeah. What's that? I think you'll be there. Oh, really? That's good. Oh. Yeah, it got bumped. A pre spawner, still got belly on her. Another one on the streaks. This one's actually pre spawned, still got belly on her. And that's a really cool thing is we're gonna hit fish with all three stages right now. This one probably is just moving in, it's fishing the little grass lines with the streaks. Nice little belly on her. Got a small mouth. Let's get her right back in. Thank you, girl. Gotta love those Columbia River small now. Oh. Come on 
down on the mag drop. Isn't that pretty cool? Six inch swim bait. Smallies are aggressive. Pretty cool. Be a good shot over here. I had one just smoke the swim bait. Yeah, was I that thought that one right there. No, it was <laughs> tucked in there. No, it was like way back. I saw it. Are you stuck now? Yeah, uh, try to get it out. I mean, look how big that guy is compared to the swim bait. He's super aggressive. <laughs> I mean, that thing is probably 13 inches, 6 inch swim bait. So it's fun. There's one. Oh, Swim bait. <laughs> I literally just popped out too. <laughs> nice little, probably what, 15 incher maybe? 14, 15. Just beautiful red eyes on these fish. Pretty nasty out there. I'm gonna go take a look. Pretty much gotta hug the bank. We'll be able to make it back, right? Yeah, we hugged came the same way we did, hug the bank. Should be fine. Nice. Oh, he popped off. <laughs> Saw it come up and eat it. Spawn, it's a good fish. See you later. Any more luck? Caught a few more on the swim bait. Lost a lot more. <laughs> there are some good ones. Not the ones that I put in the kayaks, but had a bunch of them smack it right next to it, hooked up a little bit, popped off. Hey Jameson, maybe uh, this is more like a second angle. Maybe ask him how he was doing over there. How you been doing? Doing all right. Got a few to go on the swim bait, just messing around. Seems like they kind of want to eat that bigger bait, just be a little more protective. Got a couple hooked up, lost a few other nice ones. I don't know if we got it on the GoPros, but. Tell them out to 
main river. Torpedo power. That's a big one! <laughs>